context, sometimes it's easy to forget about the historic artifacts right under our feet. Recently, nonprofit Working Bridges finished the renovation of Oregon's oldest bridge, transforming a hazard into the heart of a new park off of Marcola Road in Springfield. This is an outstanding day, March 12, 2019. We've been here since 2015 when we found out from a bridge hunter fellow, Reed, Lee Trickle, that uh, Warehouser was planning on destroying this bridge. And I called Warehouser, found Tally Patton and her crew, and, and we worked on dismantling and moving the bridge because they really felt that it was a risk and a blight on your landscape. And it was, quite frankly. There were 20 layers of chain link fence and it still didn't stop anybody. So, Warehouser said, all right, we'll let you buy the bridge for a dollar. <coughs> they gave us $25,000 and the land on either side. The history of the bridge is it's an 1882 cast and wrought iron bridge. It was fabricated in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania by Clark and Reeves, who were the engineer owners. They became the Phoenix, this says Phoenixville Bridgeworks, but then it became Phoenix Bridge Company. It is cast in wrought iron. It was shipped by train to Corn, Utah, where it crossed the Bear or Black River, I'm sorry, um, as part of the Transcontinental Railroad. Now, we went round and round whether that bridge was ever standing up or not, and then the history came and there was a picture of it being dismantled in 1896. It was assembled here, if Jay Swafford is here, he has all the history of it. It took 16 guys to put this bridge up. And uh, in 1901, it was uh, built for Southern Pacific to bring logs down from Wendling to create railroad ties for Boost Bay. For the full story about Oregon's rich bridge history, click the link in the description below, or pick up a copy of Free For All at a location near you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to show us by hitting the like button or the bell to subscribe.